everybody. It's Linda G and Mel. Hi, Mel. Hi, Linda. <laughs> Our Monday morning chat. Our Monday morning. Uh, I have my coffee. I got to have my coffee first thing in the morning. I got my ginger ale. And I only do one, one cup. That's it. And yet, if I have a hospital appointment or something, they tell you to come in NPO. Which, by the way, means nothing, nothing. per os. Nothing what? It means nothing per os. Nothing OS. per Right. It's any opening. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so um, if well, I be... go to the doctors for a blood test or something, I will have a headache just over that one cup of coffee. Yeah. That's really um, weird. You know, it's like if I'm not traveling with my husband, I'll have coffee in the morning. But during the week or at home, I had a cup um, yesterday when we did that um, meditation thing. That was so cool. Thank you for asking me. Oh, sure. Sure. And thanks sure. to... Uh, Annette Dion for putting that together. That was so cool. I know. She's going to be on my show Thanksgiving. Yay. I don't um, know how to work live, so we may just tape it. I don't know I, how to do live. I know uh, how to do live for me, but not adding other people. I don't know how to do live for other people. I'm still figuring out how to do it for me. <laughs> Somebody said, ask Sheila. You know, Sheila, she's really good. She, she knows a lot of things. Well, and a lot I'm like set up already. Uh, Pinkin is coming next week. And I can start my son's girlfriend. She she's going to start helping me. Um, oh, cool! To do videos. For Maybe me. I'll ask her if she can coach me. I'll pay her to do it. How's that? Yeah, yeah. She loves that stuff. But you know, we have a lot she's of good. Very, she's the one that does the doggy videos. Oh, I love those. Yeah, she's really good. Send her some stuff with Lucky because we taught her how to unzip a zipper uh, to take down your coat uh, the other day. No. I'm that video. dog's still learning. Yeah, we train every Sunday night. We can you come over here and train my ex-husband? Uh, no, but the dog, I can train your dogs. <laughs> <laughs> sit, boy, sit. Get up off the chair and do some what? <laughs> Mama so says, you guys are a little rustling or a little noise. That's my end. My electricians are still here. They're we had, you know, we had a good thing going yesterday. Danny hosted. Thank you, Danny. We had, I wrote the names down. We had Allie, Denise, Soul Sisters, Debbie, Linda, Danny, Sheila. Uh, and we had uh, Annette briefly. It was really cool. I know she said it was so shaky. She, the, you know, that happens. I know. But that happens with more than one person. So. Hi, Annette. Linda's discovery. I watched her video. She's really cool. She's you know, good. after you gave her a plug, she just overnight. I uh, know. She's like, what, what are you, what is the mojo you shooting girlfriend? Cause she had like, me. I think she had 300 followers and now she's got a thousand something. Yeah. That happened to me when I went on your channel and you told me to start my own overnight. I just went, I remember you tell me get busy. And I said, Linda, I got a whole staff. And I remember the first time I was ever on your show, I answered over 250 emails myself. Oh my God. Yep. So thanks uh, to you. I had the first time I had Melissa free range psychic. Um, I said, you know, Melissa, get your ducks in a row, get you a, a, a phone. That's just for people calling in get your duck so you can schedule accordingly oh no i like the way i do they can call my home number it took her three months to sort herself out yeah luckily i had a staff that could call people back and you know right. but um thank you so much yeah. i have staff too but they're all over i have dan doing the the, the youtube to check and make sure nobody no bots i've got um lucky girl doing my mediumship i got my sister doing my prayers they're all over the place, but I still can't handle everything I have to do. Tell your son's girlfriend, I, I want a tutorial. I'll pay her. <laughs> I'm okay. So and listen, my guy up in uh, Sedona, Keith, I signed a contract with him. So and you got my bio on my picture, right? I got your bio. And so we will be doing Sedona, you guys. And as soon as Keith starts it out, we'll post it, get it up. I'm excited. I kind of uh, figured you'd do it again. When you said you weren't going to do it, I'm you know like, no. what? You know what? The teachers will have a, a meeting, by the way, because we need to talk to Keith about what to put in the schedule. Okay. Uh, we need to go to that pizza place again. Oh, I love that pizza place. On our way in, we should stop off there. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> we'll be like, out of the way. There's a pizza place, you guys. What was the name of it? 
I don't know, but that pizza was. Oh my God. I think I posted on Facebook that I was there. Best pizza I think I've ever had. It was really good. And I've had a lot of pizza. Okay, so check out this first question from Miss Millie. Miss Millie. Yeah. Thank you, Linda and Mel, for your weekly talks. I work in elementary school. Now, this is a good question. I didn't even think of it. Why isn't cursive writing being taught anymore? Um, that is an excellent question. Excellent. Um, I think because coming with the computer age, you know, everybody was keyboarding, but here in Illinois and in a lot of schools, they weren't teaching cursive. And I'm like, they need to get back to it because it teaches fine motor skills. Right. And, and so for a while they didn't. And we were, a lot of us were like, that's frightening because you're going to have a whole generation of kids who can't read cursive. Now they're teaching it again. Oh, good. They, okay. And at least here in Illinois. So I think that it, they will start teaching it again, because as I said, there's going to be a whole generation of kids who can't read cursive. When I write, I write in cursive. We had to. Right. So That's what we had to hold the pen a certain way. The, the dotted lines and you come up to the one for the lowercase yep. and then the uppercase. Remember above the board, there were the alphabet and it was like yeah. cursive and you little arrows. Right. <laughs> oh, and yeah. they, um, they, uh, they said, Linda, you're trying to be too fancy schmancy. <laughs> I said, funny. I want to write like the, the, the people who signed the uh, constitution, real fancy schmancy. I always try to write like John Hancock. I loved his signature. Right. right. That's true. Huh? I do calligraphy. It's, it's, it's but I'll tell you, doctors. I don't care if you just print. The worst handwriting ever was doctors. It's almost I, like, how do they get away with this? When I was a social worker in healthcare and geriatrics, uh, I was the assistant administrator of a nursing home. I did my psychic work at night on the weekends. And I was the expert at deciphering their handwriting. If the nurses couldn't read it, they would come to me. <laughs> I know, it can be really hard. Sometimes we have to ask them to come back. Oh, some look like chicken scratch. It was just Listen, when I was in nursing school, when, when a doctor came into the room, you had to give him your seat. That's how long ago I was in nursing school. Wow. You still had to wear the cap, no colored sweaters, no jewelry, blah, blah, blah. So um, my shoes with those white holes, remember? They sent me to a county facility and I was scared of it because it was in Oakland. I mean, as you're going into the hospital, you can hear the gunshots going off. And I thought, oh, I don't know if I can handle this. In the meantime, I was working private or Kaiser or something, you know. I went in there and the first night through the registry, I was sitting in med search and there was a doctor who wrote some orders and the charge nurse was looking at his orders and she said, literally said, what kind of crap is this? She picked the chart up, she threw it at him and she said, you need to rewrite this. Well, he was an intern, he was a newbie. But I didn't realize much of the difference because I'm expecting him to have her fired that minute. <laughs> he picked up that chart and ran to go rewrite it. And I thought, I found my home. <laughs> oh, uh, God. Sorry, I remember anyway. once uh, in the nursing home, doctors had to sign off their orders within 72 hours of patients being admitted you know, for admission. And we were in the middle of a survey because the state Illinois Department of Health would come. And this one doctor had a pile of orders that he just would not sign. So I called his office. I made an appointment. I said, this is an emergency. I need to get in to see him today. I had a little briefcase and I went in. He took me in right away. And I said, Dr. So-and-so. He goes, Mel, how are you? Because I would like, uh, you know, get doctors on staff there. I said, I'm really depressed. And all the other doctors that work there are coming in, Mel, how are you? And I said, I am so depressed. Well, what's wrong? I said, I get depressed when doctors don't sign their orders. Here, sign them. <laughs> Everybody yeah, we used to sit down to the medical offices where they had to sit down and sign charts. One doctor said, just sign my name. I said, that's dangerous. That's dangerous, yeah. I could sign his name better than he could. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Rose Smith, I was wondering if both of you have yeah, heard of being sleep paralysis. I have them all the time. I don't see any entities, but I feel frozen, pulling up in a whirling sound. sound. Can you shed any light on this? I started with my first sleep paralysis episode when I was 12. And what happens is you're, you're asleep, and then 
you feel like you're awake, but you can't move. Everything's paralyzed. Um, and some people have night terrors to go along with it. Some don't. Some think they're on a cloud. I call it astral projection or just coming back into body. Uh, but in dream physiology, you know, when you're in stage five sleep, you're totally paralyzed. And just your eyes are moving. That's rapid eye movement. Everything's paralyzed. And then you're coming back to a stage two. So your brain has woke up enough to let you start to be conscious, but yet it hasn't got to the point where you're not paralyzed. Right. And it seems like it's an eternity, but it's really only about 10 seconds, but it seems or three seconds, but it seems like an eternity. So it happens to me all the time. <laughs> I've never gone through sleep paralysis. What do you uh, suggest for her? Well, at first I would pray. And now that I know what it is, I'd be like, okay, I'm on the astral plane and da, 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 da. And now I just kind of wait and I know that I can come out of it. And so okay. part of part of getting through it is just knowing it. Knowing um, you're going to be okay. Right. But for me, every time when I was a kid, I would have sleep paralysis. Another psychic door would open for me. So uh -huh. I think it had a metaphysical meaning as well. Okay. Yeah. I can't talk to it because I haven't had that. But I uh, have done out of body. And that's a weird feeling. But yeah. It's kind of like that on the sleep plane. Lola's asking, are they really going to be able to oust the joy early next year? Will the post office recover? Will he face any legal consequences? <laughs> the answer is yes. Yeah, answer, hell to the yeah. <laughs> the answer is the post office will recover. And the answer is I see him gone. Yay. I mean, I, po I see the post office really streamlining how they're working. Right. What they need to do with the Pentagon. We pay billions of dollars to the Pentagon and they don't really know how to handle money. Never have. Never has. <laughs> they get the same people charging them $10,000 for a toilet. So yeah, but I see them streamlining um, the post office, but will he be in trouble? Absolutely. I saw him stand before a judge. You know, you and I have said all the time that he's going to be uh, in trouble and investigated. And <laughs> but my prediction, he'd be gone by the end of this year. But that makes sense. He could be gone by the end of the year, first of week of January. You know, timing is hard for us psychics. You know that. I know. I know. Hey, I've got one for you from Carol Chandler. I love this. This is so cool. What'd she say? She said that you always talk about going back to Ireland. I've never been but I talk about my, you know, uh, trips to Europe and she wants to know if you and I would ever plan a trip to Ireland. I never thought of it, but that's good. I idea. never thought of it either. Let's do it. We should do it. Wouldn't it be fun? Haunted castles and the oh, state. No, but I don't know about two Queens in the same house. <laughs> okay. You could be the queen. I could be the princess in training. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And then we don't need to be fighting over menses. But anyway, oh, you, you could have the throne. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea, girlfriend. I, I really am longing to go back and I really just want to rent a house in Ireland. If we got like 10 or 15 people, that would be so cool. Wouldn't that be so much fun? Yep. Uh, you know, 15 people. Uh, my partner works in, in um travel and i know the company he used to work for will put together trips for us uh and put our names on there fantastic it covers airfare hotel uh tours most meals everything is all inclusive awesome then we'll let's talk later okay okay can you both look ahead to the future of oh, this i watched a show did you watch the turban kids the who those poor kids the turban kids my cousin told me about that. I did not watch it because I'm such an empath. But when she told me about it, I was crying. It was horrible. It was horrible. They got couldn't go outside. One girl escaped. She could even hardly talk in English because they didn't teach them nothing. They were horrible. They chained the kids to the beds. That's terrible. They were all skinny. Oh. But anyway... Um, the, little, the girls that talked on the show were just beautiful energy forms. And then the county of Riverside, they got tons of money donated. I think I even donated at that time. They got their money and then we kept saying no to any requests they put in. Like the one son needed a bike so he could travel to and from work. Bobby, did I just see a dog? Jack? 
Hold on one second, you guys. I'm going to put this on pause. <laughs> so anyway, we had a brief interruption. I saw what I thought was the spirit dog, but now we're thinking it was lucky. <laughs> it was my dog lucky. She walked by. She went in her bed. <laughs> yeah, okay. So anyway, the Turban family had monies allocated to them that they never got. So there's a big stink now because they were holding on to the money like it was their money. And these kids are living in poverty. They're living, some of the kids went to foster care and have been assaulted, treated just as bad. And they're just like so innocent because they have no idea. So I'm just going to do, what are you feeling? I see them getting a lot of that money. I do too. It's like litigation and, you know, civil litigation. Um, I don't know if they'll, I don't even know if they'll do it in a conservatorship or whatever the word is called, but um, I see that money being re released to uh, each kid will get X amount of money. Even if they're adults now, they'll still get each one will get X amount of money. That's what I see. Okay. That was just a sad case. No, they have to be able to go get an education and the one girl, the sweet girl, the one that jumped out the window. You know, it's so funny because that police officer initially was like, yeah, a teenager running away from home. You know what I mean? Right. Maybe they just take them home and tell the parents. But she took pictures of her sisters being chained, which was very wise. And um, she showed him the, the picture and it changed the whole thing. Oh, yeah. The, then they found them. Here's one while you're shuffling is by, uh, I think it's Richie Hershey. She said, after watching Diane Sawyer's program about the turban kids, I can't get them off my mind. Yeah. It seems like the social services was supposed to help them after all their, they were rescued has failed them. Will anyone or any agency actually help them? Is there anything we can do to help them? Thank you, love and blessings to both you and Linda. So we have kind of the same question. Send out positive prayers. Let me tell you something. Um, they assigned a woman to help them and she just, she quit because they knew she was just being too rude. Anyway, so what's happened is, um, I want you to know that more money is coming into them. Oh, good. I, I see, see big chunks of money coming in. And I see actually a lawsuit. I think they're going to win the lawsuit. They will. They might sue the city of Riverside for what they did. No. I mean, sue sue a lot for, I mean, they could sue like DCFS. I mean, there's huge. A yes, lot of yes. And um, like they did with that, who's that young girl that was kidnapped by that man and living in the backyard? Oh, yeah. Um, Ugart? Yes, 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 yes. She sued, she won big. Because they walked in there and he said, oh, my, my brother's kids were here. But if they looked at his thing, they'd have known he was not allowed around any children, period. Look at all the love coming towards him. I like to see... Um some lawyers coming through that will help out pro bono that will kind of oversee how the money's uh, handed out to those kids and even to the adults that some of them are adults now. Yeah. Um, like, right, do you, case on do a you think they were paid for the Diane Sawyer interview? I'm sure they were, but it, it, but it's not a lot of money. Okay. You know, I, I've well, I see more money coming. So I imagine there'll be a book by them and stuff like that. You know, I've done national television and you get paid a per diem rate. It's not a lot. Okay. But you have to sign oh, away. Oh, but listen, this Diane Sawyer special made people mad. Oh, yeah. And now people are clinging on to it. So but I'm glad that's really sad that the county took the money and didn't give it to them. I'm 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 glad it's been re revived, you know. Me too. Because they suffer that horrible injustice day after day with their parents, then they're rescued, and then they're put back in a dungeon again of the system. And they're based, some of them were homeless. Oh, it's horrible. It sucks. How, how could you be homeless with money sent in the bank? That's right. Yeah, there was something wrong with this. I think it's mostly Everybody. that woman, but the county, they were complaining to the county. They were asking, why can't we get our money? And they ignored them. Well, everybody speak up and call or do something to the county of Riverside. It's there Riverside. You there you go. I know it's a big county and it's pretty busy, but yeah. Well, there's no excuse for busy. I'm sorry. You have you have like 13 kids or how, however many they were, mm -hmm. were abused by their parents and then the system. And that's just, to me, that's just very hard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, 
Did you have a question? Uh, oh yeah, I got a bunch of them. Okay. Um, okay. Thanks, Mel and Linda. Will the DIMs get better at sound bites and messaging before the midterms? And my response is they had better. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I feel. And oh, we just found out that our president's going to run again. Oh, okay. I only saw him as one term president. I feel like he would, huh? I only saw him as a one term president, Biden, but I don't know. I think he's going to run twice. I think okay. he's going to run again. Only because everything's kosher. Now, if you think maybe he doesn't fulfill the full year, the full four years, because maybe his health, he has some sort of challenge. Maybe that's what you were saying. That could be. But yeah. uh, I feel Trump won't be able to run. I don't see, I feel, I agree. I feel something's coming up. He won't be able to know what's his health or, you know, he can be indictment under indictment still run. He's got to be convicted and then he can't run. So. Right. He's going to say some stuff too, that people are like, nah, don't want to go there again. Exactly. Okay. So what do you think Maggie's asking? What do we think about mansion and sedition? And who I'm sorry, mansion and whom? I call her sedition, cinema. Oh. <laughs> Who's going well, to hold, uh, hold the BBB, be build back better again? That's hard to say, build back better. Um, <laughs> I see BBB going through. All right. I do too, but I'm not sure when. I think maybe before or after Christmas, but I think, you know, the only thing that, there's a few things that Manson, Manchin doesn't like, and I think... Um, I think it's paid family leave. He said it doesn't belong in that bill. So I think they'll take that out. Uh, I think they should put in a bill at some point, you know, about the salaries that senators and, and people in Congress make and that they should cut their own salary instead of taking it from the working. Exactly. Uh, but I do see it going through. I'm sure that they'll kind of take things out of it. Uh, but the one thing I like is that they're gonna, part of that bill is they'll allow people to write off more. One said it was like $10,000 and now they're gonna try to raise it to $80,000. I forget exactly how that went, um, but I like that part of it. <laughs> okay, um, but do you see Manchkin and Cinema being real stubborn about it? They'll be stubborn, but I still see the bill going through. There'll be some things taken out. But, you know, don't forget, they can oh, always. Oh, yeah, they're it. definitely going to take it out. Right. Um, but listen, I say get your foot in the door. Get your foot in the door, start it up. And then later when we take over the House and the Congress again, that's right. when you start adding. Well, I think, you know, the paid family leave they can bring up at another time. It's called the SALT deduction that I was talking about. It was passed in 2017. And it was a ten thousand dollar limit for local and state tax deductions, but they're saying they're going to raise it to eighty thousand. So, yay! Okay. So, listen. Um, uh, this KB wrote a major oil company is due to start exploratory seismic blasting of a pristine part of South African coastline in December. It involves five months of blasting off the ocean floor every ten seconds which will carry over hundreds of square miles. The consequence, particularly for whales and dolphins, will be horrifying. Many may beach themselves from the trauma. Massive protests are being held to stop the oil company. Will the protests succeed? I just heard yes. I hear yes. They I might try yes. a couple of times, but I hear yes. Yeah. Oh, God, people are so greedy. I heard yes. Now, what about Adam Kissinger? What's his? What's he going to be doing now after he leaves the office? Oh, did he say he's leaving or? Yeah. Oh, the one here in Illinois. He's the Republican that voted with us. He's on the. He's on the. Uh, Committee. Uh, January sixth commission. He's decided not to run again, due to uh, all the threats he gets. I think he'll be a consultant, and I think. Um, you know, he'll still do lobbying and I still think he'll probably join the Lincoln Project or be very active and, and you know, trying to put the Trumplicans down, if you will, and stopping the Trumplican movement. Um, you know, Illinois, even downstate, well, it's kind of Republican downstate, but I think 
uh, at some point, I see a Democrat in his spot, so. Okay, great, great. You know, um, Chicago is all Democrat, totally. Um, and, you know, the Democratic Party here needs to do some work, don't get me wrong. Right, right. But, um, you know, we're a Democratic state, we've got a Democrat governor, and uh, I don't see us going the way of Wisconsin, who used to be one of the most liberal states in the union, and now- Can, look can you believe on. it? Yeah. Hey, um, Rittenhouse, will he be tried in a civil suit? And yes. uh, absolutely, because remember, I kept seeing two trials. So two trials. Yep. It could be more if there's one might be a hung jury. Remember when we said hung jury? It could be the civil case. But one, he'll be found guilty in a civil case. Right. Uh, right. I don't know how that works. He can file bankruptcy or whatever or. You know, he's already, Tucker Carlson has already tried to have- Oh, he's getting on. money. Right. So that money they'll take. Well, they will. Uh, and that's what I see happening. Just like with OJ, you know, he got off criminal, but he was, uh, he lost on the civil suit. And that's what I see with Rittenhouse. <laughs> okay. Um, any updates on the DOJ's investigation on Lindsey Graham, Rand Paul's wife, and Elaine Chow? Oh, Lindsey Graham's been awful quiet lately. <laughs> Boy, has he really? Um, yeah, people ask about why. Well, he knows he's in trouble for interfering with Georgia. Because he's pooping his pants, that's why. <laughs> I didn't say the other one. So what, what, what about Rand Paul's wife? I didn't realize there's an investigation going on with her. I didn't either, but I think that um, they're going to try to get her to tell more and see if they can get the flip, but I still see her charged. Let me look at Elaine Chow. Well, Elaine Chow, I've said all along, she's going to be in deep doo-doo. Tell me about Elaine Chow. Wonder what her husband Mitch is saying about. She runs the show. Mitch lets her run the show. Oh, he's probably telling her, oh, my wife, uh, she, she didn't do anything. <laughs> I can hear him now. Yeah, her life's going to change. Her life's going to change. Um, I think she's going to move towards her father. I think wow. she's going to judge and move towards her father. Because I feel her going through a tough time here. She's working for another big company. She is. Yeah. But I still see her like sanctioned. I see her. I see her charged with something. I do too. I don't know if she'll do jail time, but it might be like probation or something. Um, and Mitch's life force is not very long. I'm feeling oh, his life force is, is like, so maybe when he loses again, he, he, he leaves and he's just sick. Um, yeah, I don't see a long life for him. And I see McCarthy getting his downfall too. Oh, thank you. Um. <laughs> Uh, it says, Dear Mel and Linda, can you ask Spirit for some good news? Yeah, we just gave it to you. <laughs> Will Pence have anything to account for legally? If so, what do you and your guys think the seriousness is? Will whom? I'm sorry. Pence. Oh, Pence. I don't know if he did anything illegal. I think he thought about it, but then after talking. He wasn't involved in this January 6th. No, he was not. Although he was trying to find some constitutionalists and stuff. Could he actually say no? Because he was going to do it if he could. Exactly. But then he couldn't. You know, as much as I dislike Pence, and he just, oh, as far as I'm concerned, he's just, oh, um, that tells you what I think about Mike Pence. He is innocent. He didn't, he didn't know anything about this January 6th uprising. I'm convinced of that. Okay. Now, what about Texas? Are they going to have another harsh winter? I do see that. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, it got, in some areas of here in Chicago last night, it got down to 16 degrees Fahrenheit. Whoa. Uh, so that's for you, first and stuff. So for you, those of you in Canada and Europe, it was that's minus eight. Uh, here, in my here here it was 23, but that's minus five. So today it's 30, which is minus one Celsius. So, it's, so um, but uh, I yes, I do see a harsh winter for Texas. Absolutely. And they're going to have a lot of storms. And, you know, that shows that their grid is just crumbling. And Abbott, you know, that can help put Beto into office. That's what I want to know. Do you think Beto will win as governor? 
if they don't cheat and everybody gets out to vote, the answer is yes. <laughs> because I kept seeing him in a in a in a you know as leader of a state in a high level government position, and that would count as governor of Texas. So I know he had something good coming up, even when he lost as senator. Right. I never saw him winning like as president or senate. I didn't see that, but I felt better things in store for him. What do you think? I think he's going to win. Yeah, hey, see, that's what I'm feeling. I've, I've thrown the card several times, you guys. And it shows winning. It shows winning. Even though he doesn't have a lot of money, he's going to win. He would make a damn good president. Yeah. I don't know about president, but I do know that he's going to win this, and it's huge. He will. Because maybe even with this winter thing, people are done with Abbott. I think didn't fix the electric grid and stuff. What did you hear what Abbott's doing now? No. Taking these used storage containers, he's thinking about it and putting them along the border to build that wall. He just doesn't stop. And well, I'll listen, did you hear about um, Florida? <laughs> what uh, with Disney World decided where they were going to acquire their employees to be vaccinated. And he said, you can't do that. Oh, yes, they can. I know they will. But yeah. Oh, that's to Satan. The uh, Satan. Um, that man, he'll be gone too. Thank God. Um. <laughs> Will Paul Gozer lose his seat in Congress? Paul Gozer? Yeah. I don't know. I, He's I'm not... that hillbilly that posted that video of him killing AOC. Oh, oh, okay. I don't know what state he's from. Um, but I see him getting in a lot of trouble. He was censured. They're going to censure him for that, I think. They already right? did. Okay. Yeah, I heard about that. Uh, I see him gone. I've seen that all along. Gone, baby, gone. Yep. I just didn't re realize, recognize his name. Right. Out. Just Visiting said, now listen, I don't know if you read this in your papers, but in the Bay Area, there'll be 50 to 80 people in ski masks and crowbars attacking and looting stores in Walnut Creek, Union Square in San Francisco and other places. Are they local people? They attack Nordstrom's, Macy's, Louis Vuitton, terrifying the employees and other shoppers. Yeah, I saw about it. I, I, I saw it. Uh, not I didn't. I saw I it. see them being able to stop it. They might have armed guards at each destination now uh they will stop it but i yeah. think those were outside people i do too i think they came from another area just like here in illinois when we had the black lives matter and there was like the looting and stuff oh, i know and it wasn't um, even the people in illinois i have people that work for the police department and they kind of had called me too and i couldn't talk about it then but i said a lot of those were outside agitators and now they're finding out that they were outside agitators that were brought in by the opposition to make to to get everything going to make the Black Lives Matter thing look bad. Exactly. Exactly. I think that's what happened in Kenosha. Yep. Yep. Co okay, so people want to know about Waukesha, Linda. Uh, I don't think that was terrorism. I Waukesha. just think Waukesha, Wisconsin. Well, the van or the SUV. <laughs> SUV and it killed five people and injured 40. It was horrible. I don't think it was a planned terrorism, but it definitely was terrorism. I don't think it was planned. I, I understand now that the guy, his name's Daryl Brooks, he was trying to get away from police and he, because he was out on bond and he had committed some sort of crime, I don't know. But this guy was standing there and he said there was a float and the, his family standing there, okay? This guy went straight towards his family. Wow. And they got out of the way and he said he could have reached out and touched the car. That's how close he was. He but he some... was going around the float, but he, he knew he was directing himself. You can't hit over 50 people and not know what the damage you're doing. Exactly. So he... that's manslaughter. That's murder. It's murder. He uh, hit, I think some band members and there were these dancing grannies and they were just so proud to do it. They did it every year and two of them were killed. You know, they were senior ladies who would dance in the parade and everybody 
was having a good time. I, you know, I, I think it's terrible that, that in this country, what have we come to? We can't go to the movies. We can't go to the grocery store. We can't go shopping. We can't go to church. We can't have a holiday parade without fear of some idiot shooting us, attacking us, or running us over. I mean, I, I just don't get it. I get it. We can't we go shopping shopping at Macy's or Nordstrom's. Yeah, exactly. It's just the violence, which I see an end to this vigilanteism, and I see an end to a lot of this unnecessary violence. Thank God. Now that trial that's going on today with the three men that chased that guy down, they've cl done closing arguments. I uh, see guilty. Arbery, yes, I see them. You know, they were trying to say self-defense, which was a crock of BS, uh, but I see them convicted, absolutely. This will be different than the written that He could have been stealing out of homes. And it said, you know, they. I think they did call the police, so they should have just left it with the police because they cannot be judge and jury and take somebody's life just because they think something. He could have been, but then again, he could not have been. And you're right. It doesn't give them the right to take on the act of law enforcement, even though they had citizens arrest. I get that. But you just can't inadvertently citizens arrest somebody and let... You know, like what was Rittenhouse doing with a with a with a, an assault rifle? Hello, I mean, <laughs> I see those guys convicted. I do. Thank I do God. too. I do too. You got another one? Yep. Hold on a minute. My phone keeps turning off. Me too. Uh, oh, this is good. Happy Thanksgiving to you both. What do you cook for a holiday meal? When will we be watching you cook? <laughs> Love your. Well, collection. I got my my link. I'm all set now with my lights as of today. And I start next week. It's going to be taped. It's not going to be live. But um, uh, I'm having my camera person come over next week. And we're going to do several recipes. And then she's good at fixing. She'll make it cute. You'll, fit, you'll let me know how to do it. Because I've been wanting to do a cooking thing for a long time as well. Oh, it's very easy. You just tape yourself. Oh, I got it. Okay. You, know, you tape yourself on a regular phone. And then you get some app like... Uh, iMovies or something like that and but I, she's doing it she puts my non uh, the you can put it on youtube but it's not available for anyone to look and I she'll pull it off youtube fix it up put it back and then we publicize it well i'll pay her to do mine too okay okay i'm gonna tell her because she could sure use the money she's a young girl trying will, to do school i will pay her um, okay. we're, we're going to go to my cousin Ralph's and, uh, I'm making my famous bread pudding, which I don't like bread pudding, but this has got amaretto in it. I take the Italian Christmas cake. I'll put that in there. Um, and then I make my famous cranberry relish and, um, uh, you guys have cr cranberries. I guess they're short everywhere. Uh, oh, I didn't even, you know what? I didn't even, I got to go to the, I got to go to Jewel. That's our grocery store. I got to go look, maybe they don't have them. I don't okay. know that. Well, I guess I won't be making the cranberry relish then. <laughs> but, um, and, you know, I'm, I'm taking shrimp, four pounds of shrimp, the jumbo shrimp, but I make the cocktail sauce. Nice. I like that. Usually we go to Ohio, but our, our cousin Mitzi had a grandchild, uh, Indigo. So congratulations to Mitzi and Jackie and Pankosh. They had a little baby girl. She's so cute. <laughs> So we're staying home this year. Okay. So do you want to know what I'm going to do? Or is it just doing? Done? Yes. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, I'm baking a turkey in an oven wrap. You know how you can put it in those bags? Oh, yeah. A little homemade cornbread dressing like my grandma used to make. Um, mashed taters. Got to have mashed taters because I make a great gravy. Ooh. And um, cranberry, which I've already bought. And um, some rolls, and that's it. How many people are you having? Just me and my sons, and Richard will be here, so four of us. There's going to be two, 11 or 12 of us, so uh, anyway. Oh, one I, year when I first moved here, I had everybody, my contractor and his family and all these people over, and that was <laughs> huge. And, and I'll tell you, I'm getting too old. I used to host big events, and now I'm getting too old because I did I the cooking, too. I love to cook, but you know, I can't cook small. I cook big. My mother started her own catering business at 65. So I guess it's in my blood. Yeah. Uh, 
This is one from mom's email. I would love a free reading because my husband passed on Friday. It was expected, but he went fast sooner than predicted. Thank you. I never miss a video. This is mom's email. I'll tell you what mom's email. I said when I got to 13,000, I would give away three free half hour sessions, but I'll give you a free half hour session. Just call my office 847-590-5411 and I'll give you a free session. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Uh, well, I know what it's like to lose loved ones. It's not pretty. Yeah, but you know, I get so many requests. I can't keep doing free readings. So no, I have to, it, they have to go in the basket for my monthly. And I pull I from there. I understand that. And I get Unless it. it's a missing child or a missing person. I do a lot well, of missing people. If mine's a missing person or a missing child, I'll jump on it. But I don't know. Spirit just told me to do it for mom's email. And Elaine my- asked, will AG retry Rittenhouse case? That's the attorney general. I'm sorry. Well, will AG retry the Rittenhouse case? Now, once he's been found not guilty, that's it. That's right. AG means attorney general. No, they won't retry it because he's been found not guilty. Now, they might find other stuff to charge him with, but they right. can't retry him for that. Once you're found not guilty, that's it. You're done. Right. Um, all right. Let's see. Uh, Uh, it says, hello, Mel and Linda, my question, what is going on in our country now? This is from H- Helena. Why are so many people killing one another? I don't understand it, she says. I know, I'm so sad. Well, I think- This is been- sort of the way of the world. There's certain human aspects that you, from the, the, the Vikings, for Christ's sakes, they were always murdering. There's always been murdering and we're better people. So we're going to get rid of you people. And that's how it works. I think, you know, our world, our boundaries, our guidelines are breaking down, but I think it's a message. And I think, you know, ultimately, you know, that sort of killing each other will stop. I think, you know, it's just energizing those of us who are nonviolent to speak up and say, we've had enough. Okay. Okay. Um, You know, it tells us not to take things for granted. There you go. Uh, I'm very thankful to have you as a friend. Uh, me too. That's what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful, I'm thankful to have you for my, for my family. People. How's that family? family. <laughs> so, um, uh, well, you know what? I, I probably should go ahead and end now because guess who I'm doing next? Who? Andre. Oh, cool. So <laughs> Hi, cool. Andre. He's so funny. Yeah. We need to do an event with him. Mel. Okay, let's do we should do that. Let's do one with Danny too. Yeah, Danny and and Sheila and everybody. It would be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. I like I, Sterling, but Sterling tends to just do his own thing. He's I know. He's, I could I can host it on Zoom because I upgraded my Zoom so I can have up to 12 people for an hour. For live? Uh I don't know about live, but we'd have to tape it. I pay top money for Zoom too. Yeah, I do too. Um, uh, so I maybe I can have live. 12 people, but I don't know how to go live. I, I heard StreamYard is your best one. Uh, the only thing is StreamYard is I have a Mac and I have to go into Chrome. It's a, it's a browser, but that's easy. Um, but I'll, I'll but we could do, we could do 12 people and just tape it and then have it on. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I got one more. If that's okay. Okay. Deborah Joy, will the tragedy in Wisconsin cause more racist violence? Unfortunately. I saw some terrorist type stuff, it's bad. There's more anger that's gonna happen within this United States of America. Something else is getting ready to happen and I see. It's not police related, it's people Mm -hmm. thinking that they have the right. But I still think it'll coalesce a lot of us to stand up and start saying, we've had enough of this violence. We've had enough of the racism. We won't tolerate it. I mean, even that Aubrey case. So you think the guy's a thief. That doesn't give you the right to take his life and chase after him in a truck. You just call the police and go on about your business. They didn't have the right to act like law enforcement officials and they can't be the judge and the jury. No. All right, my friend. So I'll be on your show next Monday. Next Monday. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. I'll call you on Thanksgiving. Say happy Thanksgiving. Okay. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. All right. Love you. Bye, baby. Take Bye-bye. care.